Hi, I'm Pat from sketching-tips.com and here's a way to make a stretcher for your watercolor paper. When I was an art student at Ohio State some, some years ago, we always painted on wet paper. We threw the paper in the bathtub or a big sink and let it soak for about 20 minutes and then we stretched it on a canvas stretcher with thumbtacks and we got out in the field we could just wet it with a big sponge because it had dried nice and hot on the canvas stretchers and we could paint put as much water as we wanted to on it and it would always stay flat and smooth never any ripples so I wanted to try that again I started with a smaller piece of paper and tried to make a stretcher that I could put small pieces of paper on easily. This is a 9 by 12, 140 pound, probably arches watercolor paper. And I've made a made it the stretcher on a base that's gator board. This is similar to foam board but it has a sort of wood pulp edge on it that's flat and very very smooth. You can use for a base to make this stretcher on you can use plexiglass or temper board or anything you have that's very smooth and waterproof. Probably could even put contact paper on top of a piece of normal foam core board. Okay so to stretch the paper. I just soaked it for maybe 20 minutes, put it flat on the gator board and the water in it acts like glue and it just sticks nice and smooth. And then I've held it down with these four sticks. They're paint stirring sticks. And I got them by going to um, Ace Hardware and asking them if I could have four paint stirring sticks. I didn't have any, couldn't buy any paint because I didn't need any. I didn't have any walls to paint. They're very nice and let me have the four sticks. And I brought them home and cut two of them a little shorter than my paper and left the other two long. And you'll see as I show you how I put it together why I cut the two short and left the other two long. Okay, um, here was my plain paper. I soaked it and when I put it down, it just went boom and locked on there nice and smooth and very, very wet. I had pre-marked the base where I wanted to put it, so that was easy enough. Centered it like that. And these two shorter sticks were already hinged with a good tape along here and here. And I could put them down. That held it nice and flat because I knew as it dried it was going to ripple. But I needed to keep that in place. So I got some clips, and I got these at the drugstore or maybe Dollar Tree, grocery stores. You'll see them around a lot, often in sets of various sizes. Got a big one and a small one, put the small one over here. Now, I, didn't, I could have cut the board to size and then gotten just two more clips, but I wanted to be more flexible and be able to make this system on any size base board I had. So I left the other two long and fastened them in a slightly different way. Fold them over. They're hinged on the side just like the shorter ones. Fold them over. And then I took long rubber bands. Now these you can get at Office Depot. I think is where I got mine. You can get big bags of them. Probably in the office supply store. Maybe even the drugstore would have them. And I put this in place by, as you can see, I put it around one end. Where did the other one go? Oh, they're always getting away. Well, if you don't have a long rubber band, here's another way to make one. Oh, there it is. I'll show you how to do that one later. Okay, I put it around one end and then I put it on the back up the other side and around the far end and that holds it very, very securely. And I was careful, the sticks have a little bend to them, so I put them with the curve like this so that this edge would be very firm against the paper, and you can see that they, they seem to be able to print them on either side. Anyway, if you can't find a long rubber band, you can always take two short ones, or three, if you need it for length, and kind of do this, and you've got a nice rubber band that will work in the same way as that works. 
Now, here was my wet paper. It could dry and be very smooth without any ripple, and then you could re-wet it um, fully as you were working, if you like to work that way. I like to work on it right when it's all wet. So I grabbed a big brush to do this kind of work, and two big brushes. I got a round one and a flat one. And the round one I filled with the sky paint so that I could put it up in here and kind of be heavy with it and then lighter with it. And I let the pigment sort of flow in. And it, it's very fun to watch the pigment move against that wet paper. You can see what a nice soft edge you get. With the flat brush then, I squeezed a lot of the water out, put saturated pigment on, because there was plenty of water in that paper. I didn't need any water on this brush. And I didn't want the pigment to move a lot on the foreground, unlike the sky where I did want the pigment to move. So here I just worked with very quick strokes for the most part and got it all in and you can see that it ends up with a nice contrast between the, the sharp strokes and the soft edges and the picture was done in oh maybe five minutes and it was really a lot of fun. So I hope perhaps you will try and see how you get along making a stretcher for watercolor painting and it's really very inexpensive. I think everything, I either found it or it was given to me free or in the case of the clips they were a dollar. Thanks for watching. To download a free PDF with instructions for this project just go to sketching-tips.com and while you're there you'll also find a lot of other free downloads for pen, ink, watercolor sketching, projects. Thanks. Bye.